It's my pleasure to welcome Chris S. McGee. His debut novel, Mr. Green Jeans, is a realistic eco-fiction novel. Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit more about it? Well, it's two principal characters are Jack and Lake Creek, a middle-aged, midwestern married couple who are very angry about how the species is treating the planet, and they want to do something. Um, I wrote them because they have the courage to do what, what I don't. And their belief is that human behavior has to start with the environment as its foundation. So any decisions economically, politically, socially have to start with that connection. And if they don't, uh, they don't believe there's any sustainability. And there's also a lot of unethical behavior um, as a result. Well, without giving up too much of the story, what is it that Jack and Lake do? Well, it starts with the downing of a few billboards, but that action uh, comes more out of angryness than anything constructive. Um, but Jack and Lake have an epiphany, and they follow a more peaceful and much more powerful path. The problem being, though, that path uh, could possibly end any normalcy they have in life. I mean, home, job, family, um, that becomes at stake. Why did you write the novel, Mr. Green Jeans? Because I'm pissed off about the way the species is treating the planet and, and has been doing for some time. So I created Jack and, and Lake Creek, and I lived vicariously through them, and I wanted to write a uh, fast-paced, short chapters, um, lots of action, um, and a story that has the Earth as one of the main characters. And I uh, hope to have a story of hope, and I think Mr. Green Jeans is a story of hope, too. Is it a possible series? This is the first one, Mr. Green Jeans, and I've already started the second. Why yeah. the title Mr. Green Jeans? Mr. Green Jeans is their moniker, their signature, their tag, but you'd have to, to read the book to see what I mean. Gotcha. So I take it you're pretty passionate about the environment? Yeah, this is about our home and, and not the house we live in that can be replaced. This is a uh, about the, uh, the ball we live on, it's 25,000 miles around and every mile is connected to every other mile. Um, that's what the, the story is about and uh, I think we're in the 11th hour and I'm scared. So Jack and Lake, they save the earth? No, um, they don't. It uh, takes a lot more than two people to do that but what they do is give voice to millions of people and, and more importantly, give voice to um, the flora and fauna of this earth, the, the ones that don't have a voice. Gotcha, and then Mr. Green Jeans is yours and their cry. Right, Mr. Green Jeans is their cry, my cry, it's, it's, it's my shout, it's, it's my plea.